Hey guys, it's me TDF. It's me, Neil. And welcome to the final part of Pokemon Snap, where we go onto the giant rainbow colored fart cloud in the sky. Yes. Cat, take a to snap a picture of Mew. There she is. He is. It is. It is. It's. I. I, I TDF thinks it's a girl. Shut up. I'm not into little boys like you, Neil. He's sexist like that. Where are we? Oh yeah, regardless, anyway? I have to do... You can't take a picture... This is like the only... I guess this technically counts as the boss of this game. And it's the most active you can get. It's all you do is... Um, yeah, well, you can't take a picture of Mew normally. Uh, what you have to do is if you try to take a picture of him before you get... Before... While he's in his shadow... I mean, in his shadow... In his shield... Then... You, it just won't show up. However, you have to break his shield by spamming him with pester balls, and then you can take a picture of him. Yes. Pretty still a bitch to catch though, because he's tiny as hell and moves fast as hell. You think Mew would just sort of, uh, you know, just sort of like not deal with this shit and run away? Or, or freaking blast you with a shadow ball like he did, or it, it or it did in the freaking first movie. Or well, he didn't blast blast Mewtwo. He just sort of caught Mewtwo shadow ball. Yeah, bounce it back. Though granted, Mew must have some sort of special powers. Yes. Look at this. Just won't die, motherfucker. What are you, Mew? It's a giant. It's a fetus. Don't you know? <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, think about it. And the, oh my god, we, we are totally going to play that Rainbow Road with the thing, aren't we? Right now. Heads up! Heads up! Here's another one. And another one. And another one. Why you all in my ear talking a whole bunch of shit that I... Uh, alright, there's a faggot. Uh... Eric's a faggot. Uh... Your brother is a double faggot. Uh, fuck. Snaker is British. That's an insult in and of itself. Swede is. He's just Swede. Uh, Noonum is a faggot. I know I said that, but Noonum is a faggot. Double faggotry. How long is Ludicrous thing? Alright, right. wait, wait, yeah, this is the end of the stage. Yeah, see, yeah. Basically. I mean, I mean, all you have to do is just, like, get one. Uh, Oak should be fucking happy with a one picture of him, no matter how shitty it is. Just proof that it exists. You by itself get you, like, 10,000 points, too. Uh, but the, the thing is about the stage is this is so boring. Aside from the fact that you're constantly poaching Mew, it has nothing to do with the stage. It's not, it doesn't even look that cool. I mean, I guess maybe back then it would have been gratifying. I don't know. Look at this. Look at all these shitty pictures I took. Yeah. yeah. Any of these should just net you like a million points. I'm um, pretty sure it does actually. Like just by default, uh, Oak gives you like ten bazillion points for catching a picture of you. So, yeah, it's like an animation. It's like stop motion. Yes. I choose this one. So we're coming to the end of Pokemon Snap. This is the last stage. Yes. We're gonna be ending in the credits, like in, after this. Let's see, oh, tw only twenty five hundred? Are you kidding? But I got a perfect pose, and it's in the center, so I am obviously sex delicious at this. Yeah. Turn to Dexter's lab, to Oak's laboratory. Doesn't even comment on that. You phone. made it, TDF! Yeah. You made it! God, that was the creepiest thing I've You're gonna I've ever be said. rolling in cash money now. I'm gonna become a freelance photographer. Yes. And then you'll never heal from it. The See, Pokemon World I will never hear from you again. I got I got really fucking mad at this part because I had an older file I wanted to keep before recording this, but then it forced me to save, so I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I haven't and been working on that file for nearly since I got this game, way back when. And that is Pokemon Snap. So, Truly. final opinions before the credits end? Uh, Pokemon Snap, uh, I really like it because, first off, it's uh, it has a very unique idea, and it... 
turn and like the concept is interesting. Just you're you're capturing pictures of Pokemon. It's sort of like in first person. It's a it's sort of almost like a rail shooter. I really like uh, just the it, like I said, just the concept is interesting. That's why I like it. I'm not I'm gonna stop talking before I mince up my words even more and I become even more of a faggot. Right, I thought this was a really uh, original concept. I think that it was honestly, uh, I guess they were Nintendo was really limited by the cartridge space of the Nintendo 64, and they could have done a lot more. Which is why I think me uh, and a lot of other people agree that Nintendo really should make a sequel or at least a remake for a modern day console where they can really put it, this game to its full potential. They could do a lot with this game. I think it's a really original idea, and that it's a shame that it didn't get a sequel. I mean, it's really begging for one, especially with the new technology we have today, like, such as you know, freaking the pad that. Uh, uh, Wii U is gonna get Pokemon Snap too. Take pictures harder. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> Photo. In the next game, you get the ability to Photoshop your images and make them look really silly. Yes. <laughs> you can now, you can now make Gardevoir look really embarrassing. Yeah. You can like Photoshop fucking dicks on everybody's faces. Upload directly to VP. Yes. <laughs> And that was the Pokemon Snap commentary. Short game, but it's a lot of fun. If you haven't played it for some reason, definitely at least get like a ROM of it. So <laughs> I'll see you. Silly, silly, casual gamers haven't played Pokemon Snap. I'm TDF. I'm Neo King Ghidorah. Bye. See you in the next commentary. <laughs>